package just came, yo. Perfect, just on time. Uh, feels a little heavier than uh, what I ordered. That is heavy. Yeah, I only ordered one. But look, it says two Pawn Stars from No Life Day. You think it's a mistake? But the thing is, is what could they have sent us? Because this thing is heavy. This thing weighs like, like three or four pounds, dude. That thing's heavy. So I'm just curious to what's in that box. We know you ordered something, though. Yeah. And because I, I already know hey. what's in here. Time wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we got an extra package. Oh, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, so I already know what's in here. Let's go ahead and open up what they actually. Yeah, let's what's just, this one is because I'm really curious. And well, well, you think we should open up this one first? Actually, let's open up this yeah, one. Real okay. quick. Yeah, right, yeah. Right, so right. let's just make sure the order is right to begin with. Yeah. And then oh. from there, we can kind of figure out figure out where. Yeah, where things are gonna go from yeah. there. Right. <sighs> is it from Santa? I think so. It's got Santa gift wrapping paper on it, but it says from No Live Bait Needed. So. We're just kind of confused right now, guys. Yeah, it's because all I ordered was these, these three packs right here. And I think that there order. might be a fishing rod, actually. Yeah, there like could, a tiny fishing rod. Who knows what can be inside there, to be honest with you guys. But there's only one way to find out, right? We are going to have to unbox this package yeah, right Yeah, let's see what's inside, boy. You ready for this, Paul Stars? Yes, sir. Sherman, are you ready for this? Heck yes! All right. On the count of three. One. Two. Three! three! Coming out of this box right now, I cannot believe my eyes. Santa, R.I.P. Santa. Holy smokes, guys! Look at all the swim baits that we got Damn. for Christmas from No Life Bait Needed. Wow. Well, I don't know what to say. I'm just shocked at this point. Oh my God. But not only that, look, uh. look what else they sent us, dude. They sent us the jig heads, so oh. now we can put the baits on the jigs. And they match perfectly. Look, there's a green one. There's a purple one. Yeah, the purple one. There's a here. there's a another type of green one. There's like a oh my goodness. There's so many. Oh, damn. look at that. Damn. It's huge. That's so damn all good. All these colors. There's blue, there's green, there's purples. Oh wait, what's this one? You can't forget about this. This is uh. It's a man behind the slaughter. This is the mended. Paul stars. This has got to be a mistake, dude. This has got to be a mistake. Yeah, this has to be a mistake. Oh, wait, no, there's a note in here. Hold on. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. All right. Maybe it was from Santa after all. Because look, there's a picture of Santa right there. But let's open it up and see what it says. All right, guys? Okay. It says, Dear Iguana Man and Pawn Stars, we watch and we like your YouTube channel. We seen you placed an order here is a gift from us to you. P.S. Enjoy and keep on catching. May your Christmas be very happy and wonderful with a new year to follow. Wow. So, this isn't a mistake. They, they actually sent us a gift, man. It is. That's crazy, oh, yo. Santa. Santa oh. watched our videos, so I think one of the elves did it. Yeah. Like naughty, like naughty. Santa is, guys, Santa and No Light Bay Needed just sent us all these lures. Look at this right here. Look Limited at this lineup. Edition. Oh my God. It is so colorful. I know, they're like every single different color of the rainbow. Wow. Yeah. So these colors, man, these colors, basically, let's go over the first one real quick. This is basically called the Sand Croaker color. And you know, Sand Croaker is really a popular bait fish for snook. So this is gonna imitate a sand croaker perfectly. Uh, these colors are really nice, they're really versatile. So for example, we have this one, which is gonna imitate a green sardine. And <laughs> as you can see why, it looks just like a green bag. Oh yeah, it's even got the, the silver scaling on it too. Yeah, really popular really bait fish. So basically you just want something that's gonna imitate what's already out there. Match the hatch. And Match. we got the limited edition. Ooh. This one actually uh, 
had to get two packs because it reminds me of a blue heron. Oh, that's really cool, man. That's a that's a beautiful looking bait right there. That's so that color is just so brilliant and vibrant and it has a lot of contrast. As you no, see, it gets dark and then it gets lighter. Look at the scales it look, of it, it looks crazy real, guys. It, it, these baits look are looking. I just look at the scales. Before of today and Pawn Stars <laughs> uh, showing us this stuff, guys, I had no idea about these lures, guys. These look absolutely amazing. So we have the blue one, and what's 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 another uh, favorite one that we have? I think I know how to do it. Uh, I think this chartreuse one, this chartreuse one's gonna stand out. Look at that, look how vibrant that color is. Whoa. Dude, this that thing doesn't even look real, bro. <laughs> that color's gonna cut through the water like nobody's business, man. This thing is, oh yeah, it's high visibility right there. Yeah, really high visibility. So perfect for like low light situations. Um, I personally caught a few fish on them already. All right, so look, let's check out this other one. Let's check out, this one is just straight purple. Straight purple, so yeah, from what I hear, like the darker the water, the darker the lures. <laughs> it doesn't really make much sense, but for some reason, that's just what I've been hearing. So, we have to put that theory to the test. So let's check out this one. This one doesn't have a paddle tail, it's called the Wait. uh, the little mullet. So, a mullet, like, 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 like the bait fish, yeah. Oh, they made a, a bait to imitate the finger mullet. They no did. way, so. No way! Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. Let me let me see what this bad boy oh, looks like. Okay, guys, come on now. How, how cool is that right there? How cool is that? It's, it's got the same silhouette. It's got the big eye. It's got the scale. It's got the. It's even got the tail. The same exact tail as these mullets. And from the look at it, it looks like you can work it on top of the water, in the middle of the water, on the bottom. It actually, comes with this hook right and here. At forty-seven just... meters. With this hook right here, it's a screw lock hook, so basically it's gonna keep the lure secure to the hook. Oh, that's what that was in the package. Yeah, I was looking at this and I was like, Why is there a screw in here? Yeah. We're not building a house or something like that. Why are there screws? Yeah. But apparently, too, they make screw lock jig heads. Pawn stars, you want to show them one of the screw lock jig heads? Absolutely, bro. Let's take a look at them. And they do come in different sizes as well, guys. They have uh, three fourths ounce half ounce one ounce a quarter ounce whatever whatever size uh, uh jig head you want they have those too but look look at that right there definitely guys. quality right there without a doubt look at that right there guys you can just basically screw on your bait so it never comes off it doesn't matter if you have a shark on a cuda or if you're casting along structure the rocks or around the bridge the bait once you put it on there it's gonna stay on there guys it is gonna stay on there that is really really awesome yeah thank you so much no live bait needed for sending us this christmas gift we really appreciate it it's exactly how it sounds no live bait needed guys go ahead and give them a follow they have all these lures available and you can fish these anywhere guys if you're in florida new york if you're on the west coast guys these lures definitely produce fish all right so go ahead check them out and you guys can order yourself some of these lures and comment down below also which is your favorite color so bro like how how do these lures work do you just put them on a hook and throw them out or something no bro you basically cast the lure out and as you reel it up the tail is going to be wobble on the paddle tail so right it's going to be swimming like a regular like a Ex real fish exactly it's going to be moving like a real fish <laughs> and then basically a fish is going to come up right behind it and completely just attack it it's simple all you gotta just put the screw lock right in the middle of the bait and then just twist. So boom, once it's all the way in, as you see, the lure is attached to the hook and no matter what, it's not gonna come off. Nice. So there's a, there. there's a little slot right here. Oh, look at and that. it's an extra wide gap hook right here. So what you wanna do is line it up, position it, and just bring it right out the middle of the bait oh my goodness. right out the middle of the bait so it's basically weedless at this point so if so, i am at a spot that snook and tarpon are yeah. there i can throw this and this is going to be equivalent to having a live mullet basically basically wow. yeah wow. or even like an injured mullet depending on the type of action in the rod tip and how you want to use it 
Now, also keep in mind that uh, Snook and Tarpon love to hang around structure. So, this is not going to get caught up on a pylon. It's not going to get caught up in the weeds. It's going to flutter straight through it. So, it's going to look seamless. Presentation is everything. And once the Tarpon, sees, once the tarpon or Snook sees that going over the weeds and stuff, and not yeah. getting hooked up on the weeds. It's going to look natural. It's going to look good. good. Wow.